All right, today is Saturday. I finished work at 12 and uh, I decided to drive down to the bottom of the mountain and get some things I needed at Home Depot. I had a list and I thought I'm just gonna do it. So here's what I got for the house and for outdoors. I'm starting a little new, bit of a new chapter in my life so you'll be the first to uh, see that happening. So my floors, I do have a mop. I don't like using it. <laughs> I wait too long. Now, they do have a Swiffer, so I decided in between moppings, I would start using the Swiffer a little bit more, um, you know, consistently. So they had Swiffer pads, but um, this Home HDX, whatever it is, was the cheaper version compatible with. So here's the dry, and uh, here is the wet. I'm usually not in favor of one-use items. I have tried other types of fabrics on there and on my Swiffer and they just don't work as well as these. So it's one of those things I'm just gonna have to compromise. <laughs> I also got succulent fertilizer. I have a lot of succulents and um, here it is. It's miracle Grow, and again, I'm usually not in favor of uh, non-organic and miracle Grow, but I have seen the, the miracles that happen with this insofar as um, growing and replicating and root development and stuff like that. So I got one of these and I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can get a little more action out of the succulents that I'm getting right now. I got uh, two of these, uh, I guess they're called box cutters or whatever. I needed two of them. I have one I need for the house. I have boxes actually I need to cut up and things I need to split and cut and I, I just, sometimes the scissors aren't sufficient or appropriate. Also, I need one of these for a volunteering at the food bank. I have a fanny pack that I wear that, there that has my phone my ID and my keys and a couple other small items that I need by me because I'm usually working three or four hours um, away from my car. And um, so anyway, one of the things that we do is uh, we get these big boxes that are sealed shut or that have plastic around, you know, a big pile of boxes. And it's really ha um, handy to have one of these to split open the tape on the box or to cut that plastic open. And I'm always running around trying to find somebody. So. This will be very useful for that. It'll be in the fanny pack. My fanny pack's always in the car, so I essentially will have one of these in the car as well as in the house. I also got a pair of safety glasses. Oops, here we go. Fit around the eyes and some well-fitting gloves. And um, I've tried on a bunch of different types of gloves and these seem to be the most appropriate for the purpose I'm gonna be using them for. And the purpose is coming up right now. I got myself some uh, cordless uh, yard tools, a little heavier duty than clippers or uh, rakes. I'll show you what I got. First thing is I wanted um, a hedge trimmer. So I got this small hedge trimmer, Ryobi. It has um, an edger and it has a hedge trimmer. And this is came with the battery and with the um, charger. I, I can't have anything corded here. The property is too big and it's just not possible, number one. Number two, I don't want to start getting involved with gas and pulling that stuff. I'm not so sure how long the blade is, but it is shorter than the other ones I saw. It says lightweight and compact, which is what I need because this is the first time I'll be using it and I'm a small senior woman, so I'm not gonna start with the huge power tools. I'm gonna start with something I can use. And if things get difficult out there and there's things I can't reach and can't access, then I can certainly hire somebody, but this seemed to be sufficient for probably about 80 to 90% of what I want to get accomplished. I also got a weed whacker. So this again is a light weed whacker, appropriate for my size and my lack of experience. It also comes with a charger and a battery. I could have gotten all these tools without the charger, without the battery, just gotten them um, and then gotten a, a charger and a battery that would be interchangeable between them but I thought I want each of them to have their own in case something goes wrong or I want to do a lot of work or, or, or kind of shift between one tool to the next. Believe it or not, I'm already thinking that's perfectly possible. So, and I also got six, uh, a, a six pack of little, those little strings that go with this too. I have a lot of work to do with this. And finally, I got myself a chainsaw. <laughs> it's a short one. It's a 10 inch. Uh, it's got a 10 inch blade. This is my first chainsaw. Um, again, with the battery and the charger, and I've got tree branches I need to take care of and all sorts of stuff, and uh, I've had hand saws and uh, just does not cut the mustard. So 
gonna get cracking. <laughs> I did get the gloves and I did get the glasses for this. Of course, my hair will be pulled up and I'll be wearing close fitting clothing and a long sleeve because I have a propensity to get poison oak just by looking at it and there's stuff all over the place. <laughs> this morning I went out to uh, coffee after work and I, I picked up this book when I was there. There's a used bookstore and it's called The Bravest You. Five steps to fight your biggest fears, find your passion and uh, unlock your extraordinary life. Well, I think I've had a very extraordinary life and I hope it gets even more extraordinary, but sometimes I get into um, ruts. So I'm hoping that reading this and maybe there's some exercises, I can get out of the ruts, the ruts of personal negativity, the ruts of, um, I don't know, personal negativity, I guess. So for five bucks, it's worth a try, right? <laughs> Anyway, that was my day. I'm feeling very happy about it. I'm feeling very happy about uh, these major changes, at least in my own personal philosophy regarding what I can do and what I can't do. And I think what I can't do is becoming less and less. So hoping you're having a wonderful weekend and all is well. And uh, take care and talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching.